Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabta fillah from the great wisdom of an alam rabbani shaykh al-islam ibn al-qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala he said regarding the sins he said for the people of sins there are three great rivers with which they purify themselves in this world and if these do not suffice in purifying them then they are purified in the river of hellfire on the day of judgment he said number one a, riv a river of sincere repentance so this means that the slave after committing a sin that they repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they have the sincere intention to not return to that sin and that they avoid the atmosphere of that sin and have true sorrow in their heart regarding that sin. The second is a river of good deeds that drowns the sins that surround it. So this is the case of the one who does sins, but yet they do lots of good, good deeds in order to expiate for that sins. Kathra to salat and sujood, you know, making a lot of prayer and a lot of sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking istighfar continuously with a sincere heart. Doing deeds of charity, which we know from the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is something that expiates our sins. Making a lot of wudu and other things uh, in order uh, to to remove the sins and expiate them. And the third is and a river of great calamities that befall the sinner that expiate his sins. So this is the situation. And may Allah protect us from calamities, but this is the case where Allah tests His servants and causes His servants to be go through calamities, trials and tests, difficulties with regards to their religion and their faith and difficulties in their life and in their rizq. And these difficulties become an expiation for the sins. Ibn al-Qayyim then said, Therefore, when Allah intends good for his slave, he enters him into one of these three rivers. So he becomes so he comes uh, becomes purified and cleansed on the day of judgment, not requiring the fourth purification. And the fourth purification is the river of hellfire on the day of judgment. So swim in the river of repentance and doing good deeds and have patience in the river of calamities and do not neglect these before a day comes when you will be drowned in the river of hellfire whose fuel is men and stone. This is from the wisdom and the fiqh and the ilm of the great Imam Ibn al-Qayyum and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have great mercy upon him and bless him with Jannah al Fardos and all the ulama of Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah and all of those striving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do righteousness and may Allah forgive us of our sins and bless us to take that advice and implement that in our lives and to be of those who repent to him often wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam